M0 FXB, welcome to my videos on the Lilygo T TWR Plus. Big thanks to Nakontai for this firmware. This is the GitHub link provided, and you can see that once we've added the firmware, we get APRS, we get an eye gate, we get a tracker, and we still have our full voice radio. We can control it using this, uh, it looks like PyStar sort of display. And at the top here, you can see a dashboard, radio, eye gate, digi, tracker, VPN, wireless. And this, you know, allows you to control this device that you can see here. And it, my, my device is in the background there. Um, so it's, it's very exciting and inexpensive compared to some other items that, avail that are available. And this one's about £65. And, you know, we've got GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and even an onboard SD card for expansion of the memory. So let's dive in. I've been watching Matt TechMind's video as well to help me to help guide me through this. Plus, also reading the instructions, which I think are quite good. So uh, I just want to show you that on the side of the device there are some buttons, uh, just so you're familiar with what those buttons are. Let's see, if we can just line it up here. The bottom two are the ones we're interested in. This one here is the boot button. It makes it reboot. And this is the reset button. So we need to hold the boot. When it's rebooting, we need to, for about one second, we need to hold the reset. And it puts us into firmware mode. And when we're in firmware mode, the screen will go black. First thing we'll do is download the firmware download tool. So that's here. See, it says Expressive. That's where we go. And we want to click download just here where this arrow is and it will send that to our download folder. And I extracted it, there it is there, flash, word, flash download tool here, and I just clicked it, and I selected extract here, clicked extract, and I extracted it to a folder that I had created called LilyGo. Now the way you create a folder, if I move this over here a bit, you just find a gap on your PC. There's a gap here. Right click and then go New Folder. When you click New Folder, you can it, it lets you name it before it shuts down. So you'd name it LilyGo. It doesn't have to be that name. It's just easier to find it. I always put them on the edge here so I can find them easily. So when you click Extract, remember it's on the desktop. Look for Desktop here, and then look for the file that you've called. Lily go just it'd be in alphabetical order mine's here look. and then you just click OK and it will put all those files or any other files into that folder so the process is once you've got your files and I will show you how to get them you use the download tool this small box here to to enter these parameters that you can see there which is ESP32 S3 develop and USB click OK and then it opens up this window where you add the bin files that you've saved. So to, to save those bin files, just scroll beneath here. I created a, a folder and I dragged them in. So if you look at my folder that, I, that you saw me create, just double click that and you'll see that in this folder, I've got the boot app bin, the boot loader bin, the ASP32 APRS bin, and underneath that it's called the partition. So we've got four boot files there and that tallies up with this image here in the instructions of the four bin files that we're going to put in there. And once we've got them here, we can click start. We do need to select the COM port and they've selected a board rate here of 921600, that's the speed, but we'll have to find the COM port of our device. When our device goes into firmware mode, it will boot up in COM port mode. To get the files, just go down and just click one at a time. This is what I did, just click one go straight up here to your downloads and then just click on it and just drag it into that folder just drag it in and let go so you click your mouse on the left hold your keep your finger on it drag and then let go and it will be in this folder here and I just did one at a time so you could see the ones I did was bootloader the one that was called app the APRS one and the bin I didn't touch the bottom two so I've got those files ready so now if we go back to the download tool remember we downloaded this and sent it to our Lilygo folder which is here so double click that and you want to double click where it says 
flash download tool, double click, and then there it is there, the bottom one, double click that. Yours might be white when you first see it, but double click it, and it's gonna go black like this, and then it's gonna open this window. And within this window, we're gonna put the parameters in that you saw in the instructions. So let's just go back to the instructions. So in the instructions, we have ESP32, let's get it exactly right, S3, that's there. Then we have develop, that's fine. And then we have USB. And, and then we need to get our device into firmware mode. So I'm gonna, if I fail, I'll just do it again, but I'm gonna hold down the, the boot button until it starts to reboot. Like so, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe we might have to power it on and off again. So let's power it off completely. Just try that again. So it is quite fiddly. So to power it off, you hold down the top button and it does say power off. So it, no, it's the one, sorry, one from the top, that was PTT. See, it says power off. So the second one down is power off. The next one down is, is the boot. So I'm gonna hold the boot now. The USB cable is in and into my PC. I'm gonna hold down boot. And then I'm going to try the other button as well. See if anything happens. No. So let's power it on. So we'll unplug. Power it on. Hold down boot. Sorry about this, but we need to get it right. Hold down boot. Let me just follow the instructions again. because so I can see I've got a COM port. If I go right click, oh, there's one there. Device manager, like so. It still says, yeah, it's coming on. We don't want it to come on. Comms, you do get a COM, I'm COM26. So let me just tinker until I get this to go into firmware mode. So the instructions say, you can see them, if I move this over, on the right hand side here. Press the power button for one second to make sure the TWR is powered on, which it is. Then it says, press and hold the boot button without releasing it. Then press the RST button. Then release the RST button and finally release the boot button. So let's do that again. Press and hold the boot button which is the one from the bottom. Get my fingers ready here. Yeah? Press and hold the boot button without releasing it. Then press the reset button. Release the reset button. Then finally release the boot button. So I have done that. I don't really know that it's in firmware mode, but I have done that. So we're just gonna dive in and see what happens. So ESP32 S3, develop and USB, click OK. Then we get this, we're gonna upload the, the files. I'll upload, upload them in the same order as this photograph. So the top one is bootloader bin. So I'll go to the desktop, find my LilyGo folder. And then, so the top one is bootloader bin. So that's that one. <clears throat> and apparently we have to tick, and I've noticed some numbers have been written here. So we're gonna go in zero times, or oh, it's a small times by the looks of it. Uh, then four noughts, four zeros. And we'll go on to the next one, which is partitions. Even if this fails, we, this process is the same, so it will still be in the video. One, two, three, is that, yeah, 8,000, yeah. Okay, and then the next one down was boot app. That one there. And again, remember to tick, thanks Matt. And then uh, zero X E, 
and then three noughts, three zeros, sorry, not noughts. And the last one is the ESP one. Okay, well, we're hoping we got it right. Uh, ticket, and then naught times 10,000. Zero times 10, one, two, three. Is it once it's four noughts? I'm just going to double check. Four noughts, E and three zeros, A and three zeros, and then four zeros at the top. Okay, uh, so now we'll look at the other settings that have been selected. It says 40 megahertz and dio. Can't see anything else, and then we're just going to click start. So says here download panel one okay well I've seen that I forgot to select the COM port let's try that so COM port 26 and remember on the other one it's 921600 let's try that start ah, I hear noises ah that looks like it's working now so don't make the same mistake I made. So even though the screen has stayed, you can still see the screen. Right, finished. So we definitely got the firmware in there now. Next step is to sort of reboot it so we can see the new the new firmware. Okay, back to the device. I'm just going to un unplug this. See if it'll let me just reboot by holding down the power button. If not, I'll take the battery out. Yeah, it's not going to let me. So just whip the battery out a minute. Like so, just lever that out. I had to solder this part on here because the battery wasn't big enough because the original, the real battery is not a, although this one works fine, 18650 it's actually a 21700A it's a bigger battery but they give you this spring and I've just soldered it to the bottom just remember though that this end is plus okay so look at your battery carefully minus there plus and so let's see if we can just squeeze that in there now when you're squeezing these in be really careful not to break off any components off the board so really think about what your fingers are doing okay that was quick wow <laughs> so there's going to be quite a few videos learning how to do this, but let's just see what we've got. I'm very pleased that went well. Hopefully my video helped you install it. So look, if you go up and down, you're selecting, uh, what have we got here? GNS information. Should we do one at a time? Let's do, so we're going to select by pushing the cog. Nothing at the moment, no lock yet. Hopefully we'll get one later. Two clicks, I believe, to go back. Let's go to Wi-Fi. No, it's not Wi-Fi. It's last stations. What am I on about? It looked like Wi-Fi. Statistics. Oh, let's go back. Two clicks. Because I'm doing two clicks, aren't I? Uh, all right, let's go back. Information, we've done that. System, Wi Fi, APRS, and Bluetooth. Let's just do Wi Fi. See if it will go. And it's an even RF module, look. Oh, too fast. What's all that? <laughs> oh, look. No, no, it's actually wants my, my Ethernet and my username and password. Just go to, we're not going to do it using the device, it's too fiddly, look, but I could, look, it's letting me do it. Um, let's go. You know, there's a lot you can do. Let's see if I can come out of that. I wonder if I can, if I can power off now, at least, if I get stuck. So when I push that, a light came on. Power off at the top. Nope. I can see that it actually boots up with a, an SSID that you can find on your computer. Can you see that there? And then you can use 
connect to that and then you can use the IP address they give you to uh, set it up. It did actually let me hold down the PTT and turn it off. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to end it there and make new videos configuring this. I don't want to sort of spend ages guessing, but it looks like it it turns on and the Wi-Fi comes on, you connect to it, you put an IP address in and then you can connect to that. And so this is sort of part one, but yeah, very pleased that's gone in. Bye for now.